What is a concept map? This short video will answer that question and get you started on your very first concept map. A concept map can help you organize your ideas before you begin researching and even keep you on track while you research. It's a lot like Sherlock's Mind Palace or the case map that a detective makes, but it's on paper. Start by thinking about your topic. Most of us will answer these questions like this the first time around. I know nothing. I need to know everything. And I don't know how to find out. Try to think a little harder about your chosen topic and what you might know about it already. We all need to know more about our topic. That's what the research is for. Start your concept map by writing your research topic in a circle in the middle of a blank piece of paper. Kind of intimidating right now, isn't it? Then add any subtopics you came up with when wondering about your topic, questions you can answer or want the answers for. Finally, add related ideas and details. These will flesh out more as you begin to do your research and divide it into categories as you digest it. Now, let's try this with a sample topic, vegetarianism. What do I know about vegetarianism? Well, I know they don't eat meat. What do I need to know about vegetarianism? Why don't they eat meat? Are there moral reasons, environmental reasons, health reasons? How do they get enough protein? Where did all this start? How will I find out the answers to those questions? Well, I could always start with a quick Google search for some basic information, and then check the library databases for some articles, and the library for some books to help me complete my concept map. Let's get started. Put the topic in a circle in the middle of the page. Got it. Now, put the subtopics I thought of while considering what I need to know. Done. Now I'm going to fill in around those subtopics with the stuff my preliminary research found to be answers or solutions to the questions I need answers for. Good. Be sure and try this for yourself. Use paper or a whiteboard or write with your finger on your tablet or laptop, then post it to the discussion board as requested by your professor. And if you need help, don't be afraid to ask a librarian. We're here to help.